exciting today because Rafael, this is Mother's Day. This is the most famous Sundays of all where we get to thank our mothers. We get to be grateful. We get to be thankful. We get to be appreciative to the unbelievable inspiration they've been. You know, what is better than a mother? And we all want to celebrate you ladies. So today, we're celebrating with our JCB 21 Cremant de Bourgogne, the wine which is mysterious, radiant, and like you, flamboyant. So we wish you a fabulous day. And the man needs to cook today. And this is why Raphael is going to demonstrate an incredible recipe, one of my favorite. We're going to learn how to make Hollandaise sauce and of course have eggs benedict. Two ways, smoked salmon and if you love and are unconditional with great hams with prosciutto di palma. And we'll tell you why we've chosen the Italian side of it, of the hams rather than the Spanish for this special recipe. So let's toast. Remember, toasting without looking at each other and not drinking is bad karma. So let's do it again. Let's do it. All right, so Raphael, why don't you describe what we're about to do here? So, what we're gonna, today, I'm gonna show you how, it's got, how to make a beautiful and tasty, simple, holiday sauce. So we're gonna do with, we're gonna start with five egg yolks. We're gonna cook it slowly in a water bath, of course. So it's only the yolks, huh? Only the five. Yolks. Yeah, five. We're very lucky here at JCB Raymond and all our wineries, including Deloach, we have our own chicken. So you could see those unbelievable free range organic farm eggs. We separated the yolk, and here we go. So it's called Hollandaise sauce. This is my favorite. And don't be shy to do it. A lot of people tell you, oh, there's a lot of calories. Not that bad. Not that bad. It's really, when you think about it, yolk to start. This is, this. Is, it. This is the consistency you're looking for. Of course, this is eggs that are ready to go. They've been cooking in the uh, what about slowly. So once you get to, to this side right here, the, the consistency. And maybe let me try. Let's try it. <laughs> Mm. It has no flavor yet, huh? No flavor, but no flavor why yet. do I try? I love yeah. the richness of it. And then we're gonna do some uh, beautiful, nice uh, clarified butter. So to, it's, uh, the easiest way to make clarified butter is just put them in a pot and let it cook slow. Bring it out to simmer. You're gonna see how it's gonna start separating the fat and then you end up with some nice, like oil, clear, clarified butter, of course. And then that's it. Then we're gonna just start adding it slowly. Not too much, and my mother is very conscious yeah, with her weight. But you see, we go very slowly, slowly and gently. Slowly. You gotta have your two hands in full of action. You cannot drink at the same time. Maybe, maybe the only way to drink if you have a third hand and you feed the chef, because maybe a little... You know, we need to really think about bubbles everywhere. Bubbles need to... Be part of our life. Look at our course. You see how beautiful and quick. They only took me what, about a minute? That's it. It's done, ready to go. The egg, of course, the eggs has to be cooked, otherwise they will separate. This is uh, one of the, our finished uh, uh, products that I make. If it gets like this thick, you can just stir it slowly, add a little bit of hot water and then warm water, and then that's it. This is the finished product. That so I this is a whole day. This is a whole day. That's really it. Easy. Simple. So that's that. So to finish, I'm just gonna do, uh, uh, balance it out with some, a little bit of acid, of course. I like to just put lemon, a little lemon that I picked from, from the garden, of course. So this is our fabulous Myers lemon. Yes. Look at the skin. So I recommend for everybody as well to maximize the amount of juice. You do this, you roll your lemon, you see? And this allows you to obviously get a lot of juice inside. So this is a gorgeous organic lemon, as you could see. Myers is obviously fabulously known in California as one of the best lemon there is. And we sea gonna, salt. Sea salt, we're just gonna fish with a little sea salt, of course, and uh, smoked Spanish paprika. So the sea salt come 
from the coast of France, Brittany, Normandy. It's what we call the salt, not the fleur de sel, it would be too thick at this stage. We'll add it later on the garnishing. And the Spanish paprika, and of course, the And pan. then that's it. And that's how you make beautiful, nice holiday sauce, right? So that's what, this one we're gonna put it to the side. And then we're gonna drop our eggs in the water. God, he knows how to use his hands. Look at that. Fabulous. Fabulous. This, this is, is quick. so good. So in the water you had salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. vinegar. It's very important, the vinegar. The, vin the vinegar is going to keep the egg together. Egg together. And so I would recommend a large spoon of vinegar for two reasons. If you choose well, your wine vinegar, one, it keeps the eggs together, and you will see this is like a beautiful cloud. And number two, what it does too, it infiltrates a little flavor to it. And that great acidity of the vinegar then comes alive with the Olodé sauce and the melting of the fabulous bread that you've made. Beautiful. With it. Yeah, and then uh, I was not happy, so I decided to make my own English muffin, of course. So, like, you can buy English muffin from the store. I gotta make my own. So, it so how do we make English, English muffins? English muffins so actually is, the recipe is very simple. For this recipe, it's just literally it's four cups, four cups of uh, all-purpose flour or bread flour, with two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of dry yeast, with a hundred grams of water and a hundred grams of milk. Always grams. We will share it to we'll all of you. It. Because look at how gorgeous With the this two is. tablespoons of melting butter, and then you mix it in, and then that's it, let it rest for an hour, roll it, cut it, and that's it. Look at that. Well, maybe they are getting muffin. tanned, slowly yeah. but surely. It looks like Danelle's skin. And you know, you know, she's been baking under the sun lately. It looks almost as good as the skin, not exactly as good. But. And this one, you should get it, let it rest for an hour, and you just pan fry with a little clarified butter, or butter, or oil, whatever you prefer. But this one, you don't, have, you don't have to bake it. So I'm going to add to Chef here. I recommend Bahat butter. So Bahat butter is the ultimate 3% of the final, absolute, quintessential butter in the world. So you have, obviously, the fleur de sel butter, which is great, again, from Normandy, which is that northern, western part of France. And the Bahat butter is the essence you find in all the three-star restaurants. Not easy to find, but you let it melt on your muffin in addition to the rest. I know it sounds very sinful, but it's amazing. Amazing. So now we're pretty much ready to start building at this point, which is, you got the English muffins, so about a second. Bernardo plates, of course, the écume. We want to have the best presentation. Of course, always. So, put down with this. Then I got my English muffin. Cut it. This is my favorite time. Look at that. Where we're gonna soon taste it. The inside. So very important not to overcook it, huh? Right? You want the bread to melt in your mouth, not just to be crispy. So this is another preference that I personally have with my English muffin is you don't want to overcook them. You want them tender so it goes perfectly well with your bubbles. And we're going to show you something amazing shortly. It's another recipe. And Donnell is a mixologist. She's incredible. One, you're going to be able to witness her gorgeous skin. So pay attention to that. And in addition, she makes the best Jean Fee's Ramo style. So we're going to have it with it. And maybe, let's not tell her. My trick is I'm going to add a little JCD21. Forget tonic water. Sorry. So now we're just building the extended it. Put in the push egg, you see how beautiful it is? Wow. Nice and gorgeous. All together. You see that little cloud, it's beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful eggs from Raymond Vineyards. It's beautiful. And that's it. The Hollandaise sauce. Yes, let's do, let's do smoked salmon to start. Wow. One on the bottom, right next to the side, preferences if you want it. And I lift it up this gently and then put them right in the bottom. 
Then yeah, we'll I like it at the bottom as well because then when you break the egg, it goes all yeah. over. Prosciutto di, Parma prosciutto di Parma is typically fantastic because we think the pata negra is a little too rich. There's too much fat in it. It's great on its own, but with egg benedict, it doesn't cook the same way. So we're just gonna add the holiday sauce, so gonna melt right on top. Beautiful. Very healthy. Very healthy. And then we're gonna finish it with the chai blossoms. Just a couple of chai blossoms on top. And what does it contribute to? This is like a. Um, this is the chive. Yeah. This is a chive. I love the chive. Chive blossom. Maybe on mine we put a little. This was the blossom, but. And the other one is. Maybe a... I'll do a little. This is here. Because I love to build a little bit of a Gorgeous. visual expression. And then that's it. This. A beautiful. A little pepper. We could add the fleur de sel, but I think today we've had enough salt. So let's have a toast. Here we go. Fleur de sel. Cheers. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day.